Hey guys, what is up? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you probably my best Black Ops 2 gameplay to date. And I know I say that in a lot of videos, but every time I continually get better and better at this game, I learn the maps more and I learn what special guns to use. But this is a 76 to 3, guys. 76 kills in three deaths playing fully solo well basically i had my dad in the game but he was afk for most of it i don't even think he gets a kill but guys i was using the pdw and this is also in 6v6 domination not ground war you know i'm normally a ground war player but i decided to switch over to 6v6 because i can control the engagements a little bit better than i could in ground war and i just seem to have a lot more fun because i can play all the different maps i don't have to stick to just the exclusive ground war maps but this is on overflow and i am using the pdw W submachine gun you can see right there I almost rage quit but I stopped myself from doing it because this was recorded live not in theater mode and I was so happy that I stayed in this game this gameplay made me so happy while I was getting it, I was freaking out I was sad when I because I believe I was about 70 and 2 and then I took a death and I thought I wasn't going to use this gameplay then I ended up getting six more kills and I was 76 and 3 I was just so ecstatic when I got this gameplay I couldn't wait to show you guys and that's why I just got this gameplay like 45 minutes ago and now I'm doing the commentary so I'm a little bit hyped up and the kill streaks that I'm running are Orbil VSAT, Lodestar, and Attack Dogs. Now I am playing on the PS3 for this time. I'm first prestige level 52, almost 55 on Xbox. I'm 55 and I'm probably not going to prestige on there because I continually to play on PS3 a little bit more. But I guess I'll play on Xbox here and I really am enjoying Xbox, trying to get used to the whole different atmosphere. But I didn't have the swarm unlocked, otherwise, I believe this would have been one of the world's first 6v600 kill games, not on Nuketown. Because most 6v600 kill games are on Nuketown now. But they did take away Nuketown 20, 25, 24, 7. That's a lot of 20s. So no, most people aren't really getting too many 6v600 pluses. But I'd say that I don't really need the Orbital VSAT too much. Because it, it helps a lot. But it doesn't get me any kills. It helps my team out a lot too. It, it works for the enemies. Not the enemies. It works on the enemies. And it works for your teammates. But it doesn't get you any kills. And then I'm also rocking the Lodestar. You guys know I love the Lodestar. I, it's just like the Reaper from Modern Warfare three but like 10 times better i use it in almost every single class it's just a great time with that kill streak you can, you can see right there i pick it up and i believe i also get two load stars in the game and then for my third kill streak i'm running the canine unit and i don't really like to use the canine unit and the load star at the same time they seem to sort of take each other's kills away from each other but if that if i did have a swarm canine and orbital vsat i believe i could have gotten 100 plus and if i did have load star canine swarm i believe i could have gotten 120 plus and 6v6 which which would have been insane but some tactics for this you can see that I'm not absolutely rushing up and over their spawn I'm not trying to be all think that I can win every single gunfight no matter what because I'm so good really guys I'm not that good at the game I just enjoy having a good time and enjoy posting videos on YouTube because I know most of you guys like it like that but right there I get knifed and I was so upset I, I almost freaked out and rage quit but then I thought well this could be a YouTube game if I continue to stay in it and if I can continue to do well but the YouTube community is sort of figuring out like I said in some of my previous videos videos figuring out what the good games are how to play the game not to rush in the spawn too much like modern warfare 3 even though in black ops 2 the spawns flip barely at all they never really flip if you can hold them and if you have a team but in modern warfare 3 if you had like one maybe even two people in there the spawn would flip and it just wouldn't go your way i'm also playing the objective a lot in this game capturing the flags helps me get closer to my kill streaks i was freaking out right here i thought i was going to get long shotted because i only had a submachine gun and i was looking down a really long hallway so i was i was sad that i even made that mistake of looking down that hallway but these guys really weren't the best enemies you can see right here I believe I have 40 kills when the round ends and I go and I try and call my score streaks but that's a good thing they kind of have spawn protection they didn't let me call my load star until it actually became about 10 15 seconds into the round and I get two load stars basically two sets of kill streaks two load stars two orbital v sets and two k9 units which it's a good setup I suggest you guys to try it out if you're into doing well if you're into having fun it's not really the most high kill game it's not really the most high kill kill streak to actually do well you can see right here I utilize the drop shot tactic the drop shot helps a ton guys if you can master the drop shot you'll basically win almost any gunfight and right here I'm in a predicament I see that guy gets out the door and I think I kill him I'm not sure 
sure. But then there, I realize there's a guy behind me. I don't have any friendlies in the same room as me. I see that guy die right there, and I was just absolutely freaking out. I thought I was going to die. I thought it was over right there, but then there's no enemies right there. I go back. I check over here. I pick off one guy because those other guys saw me. Call my orbital VSAT. I knew what to do. Once I had this orbital VSAT, it was over for these enemies. The enemies were done. They had no idea what was about to come on them. I was beasting on them. Then this guy in the corner in the middle of the map, actually, I don't know what he was doing. He was like level 30 or something, just getting used to the game. Definitely not that great of a player, but if you guys enjoyed this beast gameplay, that'd be absolutely awesome if you could leave a like. If we could try and hit 100 likes on this video, I know I keep on switching it up from 75 to 100, but you guys keep on proving yourself that you guys can hit 100, so if we could try and hit 100 on my best gameplay yet to date, that'd be so cool, guys. I worked really hard to get these gameplays, and I work really hard to try and entertain you guys with these beast gameplays and hopefully good commentaries and, and entertaining topics. But definitely for this tip, you guys want to stick to using the PDW with the suppressor. It's good without it. You know it can hold its own spot. But if you use the suppressor and you flank, also the perks that I'm running are lightweight, ghost, toughness, and dexterity, I believe. I, do. I wasn't using scavenger. I had it unlocked, but I guess I just forgot to set it. But when you put on Ghost and you flank the enemies, and right here when I'm calling in my Lodestar and I have Ghost on, Ghost actually doesn't work if you just stay in one spot, which I guess it's kind of cool, but I guess it's kind of not for the campers. But I'm not really a camper. You guys can see me rushing around a lot in this game, so in this gameplay, so you guys can tell that I'm not a camper. Also, when you run the canine unit, right there I get knifed. I, I was afraid. I believe I got knifed for all three of my deaths, except one, actually two deaths. So I believe I got knifed for two of my deaths. I was really sad that I got knifed right there, but I knew I could pull it off because I knew you guys wanted to see an absolutely beast gameplay so it's been quad mft hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary again try and get to 100 likes if you can i'll see you guys next time